Howdy and welcome back to the channel. I am Country Boy and I put the sass in sarsaparilla and you guys just couldn't listen. You fed them after midnight and you got them wet again. And so now we got Gremlins 2, the new batch from NECA Toys. We got the Bat Gremlin. Welcome back to What You Figure. This is the Gremlins 2 Bat Gremlin from NECA. And it is not a brand new uh, version of this uh, figure. This figure actually came out a few years ago. I'm not sure, I'm sure, I'm not sure when it came out. It could have been 10 years ago, five years ago. I, I'm not too sure. So it, it will probably have some of the troubles that I've had with older NECA figures. Uh, hopefully not too many. I'm hoping that it's still a really good figure. It, it looks cool. Uh, looking at the face and all that stuff, it's a pretty good sculpture from what I can tell. Uh, but I, I can't wait to get into this thing. You know, I love me some uh, Gremlins too. I love both Gremlins movies, one and two, but two especially. It is just so fun, off the wall, zany, crazy. And the Bat Gremlin is, is no slouch. It's one of the best characters, one of the best creatures. Uh, I guess created by Rick Baker, who is one of the best creature creators out there. I, I love all of his stuff. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get into this packaging. So without further ado, let's get into the packaging. And here we have Gremlins 2, the new batch, the Bat Gremlin. And his packaging is kind of cool, actually. It looks like it's like the top of a church or something, which is where he ends up at the end of his life, I guess, when he gets put in some end and he flies up on top of a church and kind of perches himself on the top of like one of these peaks here. That's that's how he meets his demise. Uh, it's from NECA, Real Toys. Uh, you can kind of see him in there. And then we'll go to the side here. There's an image of him, like I said, kind of perched on top of the, the church. Not quite like that in the movie, but similar to that. Uh, and then on the back here, sim similar image there. This detailed recreation of the puppet scene in Gremlins 2. The new batch is fully articulated, including hinged ears, hinged jaw, ballpoint arms and elbows, and bendable wing structures that allow the wings to spread open and fold closed. But Oh, sorry, I didn't say but. Close. The bat Gremlins wingspan is nearly 18 inches across when fully unfurled. Includes flight display stand for hovering or flying poses. Wonderful. And then we'll go to this side. And there you can see that's what he looks like when he's kind of perched up on top there. And then on the top here, it says Gremlins 2, the new batch, Bat Gremlin. Uh, ages 14 and up, it says right there. And then on the bottom, like NECA likes to do, they put the credits right there for the people involved with this figure. So there's nothing left to do but to get into the packaging. Check it out one time, won't you? Don't let it get away! Down! Down! Okay, so here is the Bat Gremlin from uh, Gremlins 2, the new batch. Uh, definitely some problems with this guy he, he looks he definitely looks like the gremlin does in the movie i, I i'll give him the, that the detail is really good uh he's got all the coloring and uh you know he, he does have some posability that's really cool but the, the wings oh man these wings are are a little bit hard to deal with they 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 kind of feel like a mix between beef jerky and fruit roll-ups and they, they don't really want to keep their shape. They kind of want to furl back to the shape they were inside the box. So maybe I got to heat them up a little bit to kind of keep them in the shape that they they, they I want them to be in. Uh, but for, for right now, uh, just for, for showing you for on display, you can actually see this wing is kind of still slowly kind of curling itself back up as I'm talking. Uh, but I guess let's look at some of the... D detail and articulation while we're here. He doesn't come with anything other than this this flight stand. So that's the only other detail that he comes with. Uh, so let's take a look at this guy. He, he definitely has that uh, bat gremlin look to him. And he does have an articulated jaw, which is cool. I do appreciate that. That's that's awesome. I always like having an articulated jaw that's not really noticeable. Uh, and even, and the ears are also articulated, which is, you know, one of his looks that he has in the movie is he kind of curls his uh his ears in over his face like that so that's that's cool i like that they did that 
And, uh, you know, I, the more recent Gremlins will have a little more detail in the eyes. This one's kind of pretty simplistic. You know, it's got a bit of red, yellow, and then black. Whereas the, the newer ones kind of have a little more detail, kind of like some some shine to to the eyes. And just a little more just a little more detail as well. But they, they still looks really good. Like, even inside the mouth, you can see the tongue and the teeth and everything. It does look really good. I, I can't complain about that. And the, the coloring, all the spots and stuff like that all over this guy, really well done. And he's got, got a bit of a shine to him, like he's kind of reptilian, is what he looks like. So I can't really complain about that. Uh, so, but the wings, these wings, like I said, it, I got, I, I must have to heat them up or something, because they, they definitely want to revert back to their shape that they have inside of the box when I got this thing. But they do have bendable wires inside uh, the, the arm part of the, of the wings. Which which helps because it helps give you that the shape that you want it to. These are pretty big though. I, I was thinking, you know, maybe this would be a good alternative to like the gremlins or sorry, the the the, the gargoyles. The gargoyles wings that NECA is making that everybody's kinda complaining about because they're so stiff and rigid and huge. Maybe these would be a good uh, alternative. But no, I, I think I'd rather have the, the rigid stiff ones than these uh ones that are hard to kind of bend into the shape that you want it to be. Cause yeah, it doesn't want to stay in that in that form but let's look at some of the i guess articulation this guy has he has a, a good a good long neck here so his head can go back quite a ways goes up that far goes down about that far right there and i already showed you the the ears and the the mouth but uh, his head can spin all the way around as well too and it can tilt uh, side to side quite well too. Left, right, really well. So he's got good articulation there. The can't complain about the head. Uh, and then the shoulders go up uh, about about that far. Yeah, I guess yeah, about that far. Not too too far. And single jointed elbows, but he does go in quite a way. So he can he can kind of pat himself on the chest if he wants to. Uh, decent articulation on the elbows. And then the wrist goes around all the way around there. And uh, just a little bit of movement, not not a whole heck of a lot otherwise. And then uh, there's no ab crunch or uh, waist swivel or anything like that. But he does have knees that sort of bend. It's a bit rigid. It's a bit stiff. Uh, I don't want to bend him too much because I, I, it's it's classic NECA. I, don't, I could bend and break something. But they go stiffer. They go straighter like that. And they go back. I don't know. Yeah, I don't go any further than that right now. So that's, that's as far as I'm going to show you the knees and the feet. They don't go too great either. They they go back a little bit and a little bit forward. So not a whole lot of movement there. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit hard to put him in positions if I don't use that flight stand. But he does he does look like the gremlin from the movie, which which I do appreciate. If there was any other gremlin that I wanted, which is another one that's come out uh, in the years past, is the the spider gremlin. But I know that one would, would be massive. I don't know how I would fit that in my in my display case. I don't even know how I'm going to fit this guy in my display case. But my display case because he's got a big wingspan and yeah, he's I don't know he's going to have a hard time fitting in that detail of mine. But he's I'm going to try. I'm going to try and put him in there and see if he. If he fits in or not. I see I'm having a hard time just standing by himself. So I'm going to do a little bit of comparison with some other gremlins that I have. Other figures in that line. And I'll see how they fare. So stay tuned for that. So as I mentioned, uh, NECA also has the Gargoyles license. And they've got some big old wings. So I'll just toss in uh, Broadway here. So you can kind of get a little bit of a comparison between his wings and uh, the bat gremlins. Uh, his, so obviously, Broadways are much bigger and... Uh, more rigid but they they look really cool they look awesome they're not something that i'm gonna have to play around with to to manipulate to to fit into the screen or anything like here uh so that's gonna do it for broadway i'm gonna toss in another figure that comes from the gremlins line and this is the brainy gremlin or the genius one or the smart one what have you he's the one that's uh, really articulate and smart and you know i i think he is probably one of the best ones that they've made so far. He definitely looks like the guy, and he's got the soft goods going on. Uh, he's he's one of the best ones that they I think they made that Nick has done. And then uh, I gotta have another one from uh, the second movie. Here is Greta, the female gremlin, which is kind of funny because that's gonna imply that all the other gremlins are not female; that they're all male. Uh, what have you, uh, or at least maybe they're asexual. And then this one is definitely a female. She took the the potion or the solution that made her into a female. And there's uh, Greta. And then the last thing I'll compare this bat gremlin to is the star of the movies, Gizmo himself. Uh, yeah. So this guy is he's, he's just cute as a button. It's it's Gizmo. 
you can't go wrong with this guy. He, he looks like he wants to, you know, kill that big old mohawk gremlin, spider gremlin looking guy. And uh, yeah, so I, I guess he does he does fit in well. He looks like the other guys. But you can kind of tell that NECA has improved their figures since these guys were made uh, a few years ago. Uh, I don't know if their wings have improved, but, uh, you know, the, the, just the level of detail in the painting and just the articulation has definitely improved since then. Uh, I hope you like this video. My name is CountryBoy9 with an underscore in there somewhere. Go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. I also do other videos with my friends called Wasted Opinions. We have a blast. Those guys are awesome. Check them out. But... Until next time, I gotta make sure that the sunlight doesn't hit these guys because I gotta keep them safe in my shelf. See you next time. And don't forget to check me out on Twitter, PSN, Twitch, and YouTube at CountryBoy9, that's with an underscore. Thanks for watching.